Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel. We're discussing Mandel effects of the like. Thanks for joining. Welcome all Mandel effectings. Hey guys, so I want to talk to you for a minute about this uh, Firefox logo here. Actually, just the Firefox uh, mascot in general. Uh, how many of you guys out there thought this was a fox? Uh, apparently, we're all, we've all been fooled because the actual Mozilla Firefox was named after the Red Panda. And, uh, so, I mean, there's some blogs here, but I'll actually show you without a doubt it was a Jeopardy question. Uh, let's see. So, okay, so so the question is, do you know what animal is used on Mozilla's Firefox browser logo? Oh, by the way, kudos goes to Teresa for this one, okay? Um, if you said fox, I'm afraid you're wrong, it says. See, this is a red panda. Uh, also, how many of you out there thought we just had uh, black and white pandas? I did. Uh, this thing is, apparently it's an endangered animal, but these things have always been existence, uh, been in existence. Um, they look like raccoons slash bears, and uh, they're called red pandas. Uh, and in Chinese, uh, Firefox is another name for the red panda. And within this blog, it says there's been an update, and I clicked the link to follow uh, even further down the rabbit hole here. Uh, so it's a blog post by the design company. The Firefox logo is a red panda. So we go here to the design company, uh, Hicks Design in the UK, um, designed the logo, actually, this branding. So it says here, over Christmas, thanks Stephen, ideas and concepts were put forward, the time scales were tight, the design uh, would chosen 2nd January, and the concept was difficult to illustrate. A Firefox is actually a cute red panda. See this? But it didn't really conjure up the right imagery. The only concept I had done that uh, I felt happy with was uh, this, inspired by seeing a Japanese brush painting of a fox. So was, that's where they got the inspiration. The final chosen design was a concept from Daniel Burke uh, and sketched by Stephen Disruches. Um, which I then rendered using Fire, Fireworks MX. And I've been using Fireworks over Illustrator. Okay, that's yada yada. So you guys see that, right? Um, trying to see when that was actually designed. Um, it says 2nd January, but it doesn't give a specific date. Um, I can look that up in just a second here, guys. Hold on. I just want to make sure we get all the information we can. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Firefox design. History of Firefox. There we go. Okay. So Firefox 1.0 was released on November 9, 2004. Firefox 1.5 came out November 29, 2005. So keep that date in mind in case it changes, okay? Uh, Firefox 1.0. Uh, Firefox, Mozilla Firefox was created by Dave Hyatt and Blake Ross. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's any other interesting tidbits. Um, the naming of it. So. Let's see if they mentioned Red Panda. Yep, right here. Uh, okay, do... Okay, let me just read here. The name Phoenix remained until April 13th. Okay, so the name Mozilla was revived as the 1998 open sourcing spinoff organization from Netscape. I knew that. Netscape Navigator. How many people had that on their system? Uh... It says here, the name Phoenix remained until April 14, 2003, when it changed because of the trademark dispute uh, with uh, BIOS manufacturer Phoenix Technologies, which produces a BIOS-based browser uh, called Phoenix, um, first where connect. The new name Firebird met with mixed reactions, uh, particularly as the Firebird database server was or has already created the name, right? Already had the name. So in response, the Mozilla Foundation stated that the browser should always bear the name Mozilla Firebird. Ah, okay, so there it is. Uh, Firebird, to avoid confusion with the database. Um, so due to the pressure from Firebird community, on February 9th, 2004, the project was renamed again to Mozilla Firefox. 
and it says here in, in plain letters, the name Firefox, a reference to the red panda, was chosen for its similarity to Firebird and its uniqueness to the computing industry. To ensure that no further name changes would be necessary, the Mozilla Foundation began the process of registering Firefox. So there you go. Um, I, I am bewildered here because I thought it was always a fox. I don't know. Uh, just just goes to show you how much we know and how much um, this could be a Mandela. I don't know. Uh, I Although I'm a computer guy by trade, this one kind of slipped past me. I'm sorry, guys. But if anyone out there can can verify uh, that this thing is in existence, uh, by all means, uh, say so in the comments. Yeah, Red Panda uh, is also called the Lesser Panda, the Red Bear Cat, and the Red Cat Bear. Okay, you guys can look this up on Wikipedia, okay? Um, let me see where it lives. Uh, it looks like it's in this general area western side of China, western central. Um, I never knew these things existed. This this has to be a Mandela to me. Uh, I don't know about you guys. Um, let me know. This is killing me right here. <laughs> I thought pandas were only black and white. That's the thing. Uh, okay, so this is another article from Today I Learned UK. Uh, February 23rd, 2012. This is nearly, uh, what is it? What did we say, 2004? This is like seven years after the companies uh, created their design. So some people thought it was a fox. Uh, um, it, here's a picture of Chinese Firefox. It just goes along the lines of whatever we said before. Um, this is crazy, guys. So then I found this other article here on complex.com, pop culture. And it, and it talks about, um, it says here, no one knows what the Firefox logo is. And tonight, and uh, last night's Jeopardy proved it. So this was uh, September 26th is when the episode came on. So we go to, um, again, the Jeopardy archive. You guys are welcome to check that out, the jarchive.com. It's, uh, it's the Jeopardy archive. And I, I can actually play the clip for you guys. Hopefully it won't get flagged for copyright. And it turns out it's a, Freaking red panda is what they said. Um, the contestants for this show uh, were Heidi um, McEachern, a painter and uh, parodist from Iowa City, Iowa. Fran Altamore, a tutor and adjunct professor originally from Quakertown, Pennsylvania. Neil Polak was the or Neil Polak, sorry, was the uh, he was a writer from Austin, Texas, whose two-day cash winnings total $45,999. So, pretty amazing guy. Um, he actually came on, um, he was like the champ, okay? So, we get down to the bottom here, and everybody wagered very high amounts, because they figured they knew the internet question. Uh, Neil only wagered $1,400, because he didn't have that much to, ri to risk. Um, neither one of these people got it right. Uh, Heidi said, what is SU? Uh, Fran said, what is Raccoon? What is Excel? And the answer was Firefox. The question, I'm sorry, was... Um, let's see, where is it? Um, okay, I'll pull up the question. So, hold on. Um, here, here's the actual video clip, okay, that I spared, okay, for you, for you guys. The animal for which this computer program is named is actually a red... Seconds, players. Good luck. Heidi, we come to you first. Did you write anything down? You were struggling Let's with this. See if I can skip ahead a little bit. What is raccoon? And then the last guy said, "What is Excel?" You ever used the browser Firefox? Bam! There it is. Firefox. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, neither one of these players got it right. Um, to me, this is a Mandela. I'm going to put it down as a possibility. Let me know, guys, in the comments. Thanks for checking me out. Have a great Mandela Effect 9. God bless. Hope, if nothing else, this video was uh, very informative to you. God bless.